I'm James Turk. I'm a director of the Gold Money Foundation. It's my pleasure to be here today with Ralph Flero, who's the founder and chief editor of Smart Investor, one of Germany's leading investment magazines. Ralph, it's a real pleasure to speak with you. First of all, let me say, uh, it's been my pleasure to contribute an article to Smart Investor for, I guess, almost two years now. Mm -hmm. um, I'm very pleased to be doing that. And I'm also very pleased to be participating in the special edition uh, that you did uh, just recently on uh, money and, and gold. Uh, I wrote a little article called The Golden Constant. Yeah. Um, and for viewers who can speak German, uh, go to smartinvestor.de and you can purchase that special edition. I highly recommend it. And hopefully in the future you'll be able to have that uh, in English translation as well for our English viewers. But let me ask you a little bit about Smart Investor. Um, uh, it's a wonderful magazine. You know, when did you start it and uh, uh, what, were, what was your thinking behind starting it? Was there a real need for uh, that type of magazine in Germany? Yes, we, we started it in, in, um, uh, in the spring of 2003. Mm -hmm. And uh, when you remember what, what times were mm -hmm. then, it was a, a, a depression and uh, none of the magazines in, in the stock market and, and, and business magazine uh, uh, branch are coming out on the on the low. They all come on the high. Mm -hmm. And my interest was, and my idea was, to bring a, a new um, a magazine, uh, a, a non-mainstream magazine, right on the low, because we want to to uh, recommend uh, anti-cyclical uh, uh, investments. Yeah. You know? And not uh, go in the market on the top. That's the wrong way. And uh, from the beginning on, we were very positive for all raw materials, especially uh, precious metals and gold. And uh, when we started that, uh, people said, uh, what gold? Uh, it's a barbarous relict and uh, uh, it's bullshit. <laughs> and now the, the times changed. Uh, now we, we are, uh, maybe we are mainstream. Yeah, now you're well recognized for you know, having this uh, uh, point of view that you provide a lot of material, uh, including a lot of material on the precious metals. Uh, and that's been consistent, I guess, since 2003. I'm not familiar with the magazine going back so many years, but mm -hmm. I know in recent years that's been true. Yeah. It's been consistent going back to 2003 then, yeah. in terms of the focus on precious metals. It's, but it's more than precious metals, it's really all asset classes, right? Yes, yes. Especially stock markets and uh, a bit also uh, bonds. Uh, I would say uh, it's, a, it's a stock market magazine with a huge focus on, uh, um, on uh, raw materials. Yeah. yeah. What would you say uh, has been the biggest change uh, in the outlook of German investors over the past eight years while you've been publishing? Um, it, it, you know, for example, are they more global now, less global, uh, uh, more Stocks, less stocks. What would you say the biggest change or changes over the past eight years? Yes, I would say uh, the interest in investing in, in stocks is uh, uh, going down. You know, uh, they are more interested in uh, investing in, in gold, especially our readers. Not not so much all the all the investors in Germany, but we have a, a special uh, segment of the investors. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a, a, our normal reader is one, our typical reader is a, an, uh, an investor who cares about the future of the whole money system and he and who says for himself, uh, oh, I don't think that is going on for a long time, of, uh, or a long, long period of time. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, so they think concerning um, uh, uh, they think about the end of the system and they want to, to prepare themselves and the, the best way is to invest in gold or to invest in, the, in the real estate or a stock market. Tangible assets or new tangible, tangible assets. assets. Yeah. yeah, understood. And uh, the, the stocks, uh, the, the equity market is uh, only one part and when we started in 2003 the, the stocks had much more part in a, in a portfolio than now. Now it's maximum a third. Eight years ago it was maybe 50 or 60 percent. You know? mm -hmm. This had changed.